Hey guys, I'm Abby Lyons and I'm going to show you how to play State of Grace by Taylor Swift on the ukulele. I am doing a whole week of tutorials for the Red Album, so be sure to subscribe if you aren't already. And also, there are lead sheets and playalongs for every single video up on my Patreon page if you'd like to come join and be a part of that. So let's get started with the tutorial. We have just three chords in this song and they are down here. If you already know them, then feel free to skip ahead. Our first chord is D. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the fourth string, second finger on the second fret of the third string, and your third finger on the second fret of the second string. And here is D. Then our second chord is G. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the third string, second finger on the second fret of the first string, and your third finger on the third fret of the second string. Here's G. And then our last chord is E minor. You're going to put your first finger on the second fret of the first string, second finger on the third fret of the second string, and your third finger on the fourth fret of the third string. Here's E minor. And then if you'd like to play this song in the original key, you just have to put your capo on the second fret. So for our strumming pattern, we're going to be doing down, down, up, up, down, up, two times on each chord. So on D, it sounds like this. We have down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. So that's the strum. <laughs> So we are going to be learning the verse and the chorus together because they actually have the same chord progression. Mostly we are just going back and forth between D and G. So our chord progression is D, D, G, G. <laughs> so let me play that once through. Remember we do two times the down, down, up, up, down, up on each chord. So here's what that progression sounds like. We have D. Now here's the second D, now to G, and G again. The song is basically this progression, and it's going to happen two times for the verse and then two times for the chorus. So here is what that all sounds like with the words. I'm walking fast through the traffic lights, busy streets and busy lives, and all we know is touch and go. So that's the verse and the chorus. Now we're going to learn how to play the bridge and in our first half of the chord progression you're going to see some slashes. That means we're going to strum one time on the chord and then hold. You're also going to see some brackets. That means that the chords in the brackets are half as much time as the other chords. So let's walk through this first part together. We have first one strum on D then one strum on G, one strum on E minor, then D, and then G. 
Then in the next line, we actually have the same chords, but we're going to bring our strumming pattern back in. So that's down, down, up, up, down, up. It happens two times on each chord, except for the chords in the brackets. It'll just do one time on each chord in the brackets. And then you'll see the very last G chord has a slash again, so we'll just strum one time on that G chord. So there's a few things packed into this, but it's not as um, complex as it seems. <laughs> so here is this progression. We have D, then G, G. So that's the whole bridge. Here it is now with the words. This is a state of grace. This is the worthwhile fight. Love is a ruthless game unless you play it good and right. These are the hands of So that's how you play the bridge and those are all the sections to this song. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like. Be sure to subscribe, especially if you want some more Taylor Swift tutorials because they are coming. And if you would like the lead sheets and the play along videos to all of my tutorials, come join us over on Patreon. Thank you guys so much for watching. These are a lot of fun for me, so I hope you had fun too. I'll see you again tomorrow for another video. <laughs> Bye!